Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got this McAllister M4 MTP25 strimmer. It's a kind of a multi-tool, two-stroke multi-tool thing. It won't start, and if you try and pump the bubble, nothing's happening. I think it might be a really simple fix. Looking at this little hose here, it's all kind of scraped looking. So I'm gonna try and get it off by pulling. It doesn't seem to work, so I'm gonna need a knife. I'm gonna take off this air filter. I'm going to take off this air filter cover just because it gives me a tiny bit more view. I've got a utility knife. I'm just going to slip this hose along one side. And that might let it off. And yep, there we go. And it's, on, it's fixed in on the other end of the bubble here. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to get off. Pulling it doesn't work. It's just snapped, but you can see there, maybe. It's got loads of little cracks all the way along and they're letting air in and if air is getting in it's not going to be able to suck. I've got another piece of hosing from another job I did recently and this one might just be good enough. So I replaced the fuel line on a Poulan Pro recently and this is what I used for it but it's just the same hosing. Now to get this bubble off, I'm going to have to try and pop it out. It's got a little plastic tab in there. It should pop out. I might need a plier. This is a needle nose pliers. Get that in there. Give these tabs a squeeze and it pops out. And then I'll do the same thing again on this, trying to be more careful. Because I don't want to cut any of the other hoses. Uh, just ease that off. That's the other end of it. So then, I need a piece that's the same length as the old piece. Different colour, but that doesn't matter. Put it up alongside it, the little other piece. Give it a cut. Just use the wire cutters on that. Slide that in up like this. I've licked, I've licked it. So that should put a little bit of saliva inside, and that should be enough to lubricate it. Oh dear. Glad we caught that on camera, hey? There's a lot of pressure in there. <laughs> right, so I'll try that again now that it's off. Let's put that on. You see there's petrol on it now, so that should lubricate it on. It's harder when you're holding it in your hand. Difficult little thing. So that's it now. It's not on fully, but I suspect that might be enough. It's got a pretty firm grip here. Got to get that other fuel line back on now. It'll just be more fun. Squeeze that out. That's actually going to be the difficult bit on this job now, getting that back on. No, just use the needle nose. Go straight on and snap this back in. <laughs> the petrol went everywhere. So that's in place now. And then just offer that up on this one. That fuel line there. Okay, let's see if it pumps now. Yeah, there's fuel coming into the bubble. And bring it outside and see if it goes. Wonderful, excellent, okay. Maybe the lesson learned there is release the pressure, I think, through the lid of this thing first, but that was it was an accident more than anything like that, that it sprayed out that way. We weren't expecting that. This just sits in place, doesn't snap on or anything, and uh, screw goes back in again. So almost a no tool fix, but let's uh, let's test it first before we proclaim that it's working. So I'll have a go at starting it now. I've replaced the fuel line. I've replaced the fuel as well. It was looking a bit old. The two stroke that I've put in has a red color off it. The stuff that was in there is kind of a honey red, honey yellow color. A bit weird. So let's try. It 
six primes on this one. Choke on. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks for watching. See you later.